Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, third graders. I'm Mrs. Nix, and I am so excited to be here with you to support you as you become amazing thinkers, readers, and writers. You know what? I was just reading Magic Treehouse Dinosaurs Before Dark probably for the zillionth time. Do you ever read and reread some of your favorite stories? I sure do. I was looking at the amount of love that's on my book today. I've read it a lot of times. Jack and Annie are two of my favorite characters. You don't know Jack and Annie? Oh my goodness, they're time travelers. Well, kind of, sorta. You might have to read the book to figure it out, but the first one is Dinosaurs Before Dark, but look, I even have several of them. The Night at Dawn, Mummies in the Morning, Pirates Past Noon. I know that there's something that you would enjoy. All right, check it out. Possibly uh, look on Sora. If you're in Fresno Unified, we use Sora, so check that out. Okay, let's get started this morning. So we have two things that we're gonna, or three things we're gonna go through today. We're gonna look at our long O uh, words. We're gonna look at some compound words, and then we're gonna finish off with some multiple meaning words. Are you ready to start? Okay, let's get started with those high frequency words. Remember, these are the words that you come into contact often when you're reading a story and you're gonna wanna use them often in your writing. So it's important that you're not only able to read them, but to write them. Okay, so let's go through and read them. I've got 10 of them for us. Here we go. Clean, cold, could, come, cut, day, did, different, do and does. Now, boys and girls, I want us to look right here. We've got clean and cold. These are gonna be our first two words that we're gonna practice uh, this week. So clean, spell it with me, C-L-E-A-N. And cold is C-O-L-D. Nicely done. Okay, so help me think about where these words can go. Now, I also have a little preview for what's gonna come at the end of today's lesson is a multiple meaning word, meaning sometimes words have more than one meaning. I have a, several sentences up here uh, today, and actually I've gotta pull one out because I want us to be able to see it. And I'm gonna cover up my letters for just a second. But I have the word cold actually has two meanings. Think for a second. Cold can be that you feel cold, right? Can you think of another way that we could use the word cold? Did you just sneeze? Oh yes, you can catch a cold. Okay, so let's look at how we can use these in sentences. And I, like I said, I've got three of them because we have cold and clean. Okay, so don't forget your coat when it's, that's right, cold outside. So we're going to put that right there. Nicely done, third grade. And I wouldn't want you to catch a cold because we don't want you to get sick. Remember, even though it's the same word, it can mean more than one thing. And then please clean your room today. You see how we put that in there? Please clean your room today. Nicely done. So I'm going to move this one back out of the way because... I want us to be able to move down here. Today, we're gonna to be looking at those long O words. I brought my boat card with me here today to remind me that that long O can uh, be heard in the middle of words like boat or at the end of words like go. Did you hear that O sound? Nicely done. So we have to be able to hear it before we're able to write it. But then we also have to know the different ways that we can spell O. Oh, look at all of these different ways. Let's look at some of the words that use some of these different spellings. So I can spell O oh just by itself, like in the word most. Do you see that O oh that's right there? 
most. I can also say the long O using OA like in the word soap. See that right there? Soap. Then I've got the O blank E like in the word note. See that I've got that magic E on the end or that bossy E? It makes the O say its name, note. And then at the end of this word right here, we have the O sound, so it says, blend it with me, show. Good job. And then my last two words over here, I've got this one with an O-E, and it's do. Do you know what this do is? That's right, it's like a mother deer. It's the female deer, good. And O-U-G-H makes the O sound like in the word dough. And this is dough like Play-Doh or biscuit dough, something where you're gonna do some cooking with. All right, nicely done. My second thing that we're gonna go through on here happen to be our, our compound words. Now, compound words are two words that when they're put together, can make a new word. So I have several examples right here, let's look. I've got the word dog and house, and when I put it together, I know that dog house makes one word. So we, if we know what dog means, and we know what house means, well, what is a dog house? That's right, it's like a little tiny house for our dogs. Okay, then I've got rail, which Think about when you're walking down stairs, you're gonna put your hand on the rail, something that you're gonna hold on to, right? And if I think about a road, that's something that I travel on, right? But if I put together railroad, I have a new word, and I can think about what is a train traveling on? It's got those railroad, that track. Yeah, see how we did that? Good job. So looking over here, we've got hand, Everyone knows what their hands are, right? Hand and writing, and we know that writing is the words, but when we put them together, now we're talking about our handwriting. Everybody has their own style of handwriting. Now, boys and girls, sometimes with our compound words, we're gonna do something like this. So we can see these three words go together, nine-year-old, so if I'm talking about a nine-year-old um, student, I would actually want to put some hyphens in here. So I want to show you what that looks like. And I would say nine year old. And see how these little hyphens are right here? That's when we're talking about how old someone is, a nine year old student. Good. We've got sun. We all know what, we haven't seen the sun in a while because of all the smoke, but we do know what the sun looks like. And set means that it's gonna be coming down, putting them together, sunset, becomes when the sun is setting behind uh, the, the mountains. Um, and then basket, thinking about a basket is something that we might use to carry things with. And a ball is something we play with. But when we put it together, we have the word basketball and a basketball, think about the games that you like to play where you're taking that ball and you're throwing it through a hoop and getting a score. So those are some examples of long O words and compound words. And I have a little bit of practice. I'm gonna spin this around because I'm gonna do this in just a moment too. I have a little bit of practice, so help me out. I just want us to be able to identify some of those long O words, but I'm gonna follow the directions that are right here. And it says long O spelled O-W. So look at our two choices, and which one has that long O sound? Do you see it? That's right. Slow has the O-W, and it says slow. Why is this word not our long O sound? What word is this? Say it. Good job, it's cow. So cow has the ow sound, nicely done. How about the long O spelled O blank E? Do you see it? Which one is it? That's right, it can't be this one because I don't see an E on the end and I know that this word is crop. This word here says home and it has the O blank E spelling. And our last one spelled O with just a single O, 
Okay, they both have just a single O. Which one says O? That's right. You guys are so good this morning. This is sold. Anytime we have that LD, sold. And this is log, has the short O. Nicely done. Let's practice a couple of our compound words. So looking here, we have these words that are right here in this box. Read them with me. Let's go. Book, boat, man, town, and robe. So I have snow. What can I put with snow to make that into a compound word? Would I say snow book? Is that a word? No, but what about snowman? Do you know what a snowman is? Ah, you can picture it, right? So then I can put those two words together to make a single word. Do you see it? Nicely done. Okay, boys and girls, I would like to practice one last little thing with us before we finish today. I have for us multiple meaning words, and I wanna talk about those just a little bit. So multiple meaning words are words that have more than one meaning. I put this right here, homographs is another thing that we call, that we call them. So oftentimes we don't know what we're talking about unless we have some context. So I don't know what fall or fly or spring means just by itself. But if I look, in the fall many monarch butterflies fly to warm places, I know that fly means something in the air. So I wrote down here, fly is something that's up in the sky, something is flying, but it can also be a bug. It's important to know how is it being used. I have one little sentence for us to look at. So the surfer caught, whoops, let me pull it over here. The surfer caught a huge wave in the ocean and I always wave goodbye when I leave. Do you see how the context really helps us to determine what wave means? Because wave could mean a hand movement, like I always wave goodbye when I leave, but it can also be talking about a little wave. So do you see the little surfer right here? So the surfer caught a huge wave in the ocean. The sentence, the words around gave us some clues. So I see the word surfer and I know we're talking about the ocean, right? Do you see it? So today as you're reading your stories, I want you to stop and think to yourself. What does that word really mean? Can I figure it out using my sentence clues? All right. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today as we've practiced our long O, our compound words, and our multiple meaning words. You've done an excellent job. Remember, you are responsible for your learning success. So ask those questions, listen, and share your ideas. Together, we can do so much more. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good.